Year 16, The Rule of Kennel. 16th of Obsidian. This is it. Head shoots. The most legendary and most notorious dwarven outpost on this continent. Its abysmal architecture doesn't seem to follow any kind of logical structure. There are half-finished towers, flooding corridors, terrible death traps and labyrinths, and yet citizens crawl through long corridors in muddy rags. We saved the dungeon master from a platform that was hanging over the bottomless pit. Apparently there was some kind of suicide cult, and most of the nobles decided to end their lives. Undead goats caused some problems, but they were smashed. Ninth of Granite, our pointy-eared friends arrived to trade. Eleventh of Granite, a vile force of darkness has arrived. Nemo 2342, the Deathsmith, has entered a martial trance. He charges towards the enemy. Eighty goblins versus four champions equals a lot of flying body parts. Nemo managed to kill twenty of them. Tyskill gets sixteen. Mofetta and the good professor finish the job. After forty dead attackers, the goblins decide to leave. Twenty-seventh of Granite. A three-year-old orphan girl, Gary Khan, was possessed by Tosid the deity of fortresses. The kid created a cave lobster shell puzzle box with some nasty images. Behold, Litost Am, the torches of opening. This is a cave lobster shell puzzle box. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with stibnite and encircled with bands of rhesus macaque leather and pineapple opal. This object is adorned with hanging rings of rope reed and menaces with spikes of cave lobster shell, groundhog leather, and horn blend. On the item are two images of Uja Maligned Ake, the demon, in cave lobster shell. Uja Maligned Ake is striking a menacing pose. The artwork relates to the release of the demon Uja Malindake by careless miners in the deepest recesses of head shoots in the early summer of 112. On the item is an image of Trail Machines, the Fellowship of Right, the adamantine plate mail in cougar leather. First of Slate, the babbling madman Frog II finally died of thirst. Poor cripple lost his wife, both children, and then failed a mood a couple of months ago. Nobody seems to care enough to move his body. Fifth of Slate, we bought two jaguars from the elves. Hopefully they'll mate and we can grow an army of them. We actually had a giant leopard, but someone butchered it for food. Twenty-second of Slate, migrants. We got a new tax collector, hammerer, count, countess, and six others. 18th of Felsite. What the fuck, man? Katarani Sword, the Count, has put a mandate banning the export of bismuth bronze items. They also demand the production of a giant bat leather item. Meanwhile, I'm trying to revive the tribute weapon, but I don't actually know how it's supposed to work, and, well, what could possibly go wrong? Summer was quite boring. Eighth of Hematite. McKeel and Melin were injured in a mining accident. Doesn't seem too bad, though. Tenth of Hematite. <laughs> Tribute weapon works again. Seventeenth of Hematite. Mortal Sword has been elected mayor. Human caravan arrived. Twenty-sixth of Hematite. We spent some time killing undead monsters in the chasm. Fourteenth of Malachite. Magma from Tribute Weapon reaches the ground. Twenty-fourth of Malachite. No one even considered making the journey to such a cursed death trap this season. I guess they heard about the bottomless pit incident last year. Twenty-seventh of Malachite. Whoa, both of our jaguars have internal wounds. I have no idea how they got those. 21st of Galena. 
Count Katarani's sword became pissed off because nobody could use dwarven magic to create giant bat leather items. Luckily, he punished the most useless dwarf. Vomarius, the arrest smith, has been sentenced to 26 days in prison for violation of a production order. Twelfth of Limestone, dwarf caravan arrived. Autumn was very boring. Count wanted some bismuth bronze items, Countess wanted bolts and aluminum items, and the mayor wanted a floodgate. Brute Force engraved a masterpiece. There's like a million pictures of releasing the demons engraved around the fort. Two million of Frog becoming the first leader and perhaps 20 of anything else. Behold the engravings. Rafu Maros, the coincidental savageries. Engraved on the wall is a superiorly designed image of Enod Steamy Wheel, the dwarf, and Large Roaches by Mercenary Nuker Kolimal. Enod Steamy Wheel is surrounded by the large roaches. Enod Steamy Wheel looks terrified. Otho Sluslem, the wilted puzzle. Engraved on the floor is an exceptionally designed image of the one-humped camel by Brute Force Erith Zokun. Is burning. The artwork relates to the burning of the one-humped camel in head shoots in the mid-autumn of 112. Newt Gangzak, the Cyclopean Terror. Engraved on the wall is an exceptionally designed image of Orange Soda II, Puzzle Letter, The Severe Blankets of Shocking, The Dwarf, and Mules, by Brute Force, Aerith Zokun. Orange Soda II, Puzzle Letter, The Severe Blankets of Shocking, is surrounded by the mules. Thirteenth of Moonstone. Oh, an ambush! Siege Operator Robin Daybird was rustled to death by six goblins. Goblins hang out next to the lava field until Jimiel and his troops arrive. Jimiel enters a martial trance, and the goblins are gone. Sixteenth of Moonstone. Fortress guard Shadow Gamer III is ambushed by seven more goblins. He manages to shoot one of them, but is quickly beaten unconscious. And his hands are torn off. He's still alive when the soldiers arrive, but... Nobody can help him. 26 of Moonstone. River froze. There was no alternative water source, so we built a well with an artifact chain and an artifact mechanism. 17th of Opal. Our jaguar gave birth to a cub. 22nd of Opal. Tag plastic, an adept miner, is taken by a mood. There wasn't any silk cloth for his project, so I ordered people to collect cave spider webs. Eleventh of Obsidian. Behold, Ilral Desis Zunek, Brain Treaties, the Snarls of Sourness. This is a native silver hatch cover. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with native silver and raw adamantine, decorated with turtle shell, and encircled with bands of groundhog leather. This object is adorned with hanging rings of citrine and menaces with spikes of native silver, prace, and pineapple opal. On the item is an image of a donkey in copper. On the item is an image of Uja Maligned Ake, the demon, in cave spider silk. Uja Maligned Ake is striking a menacing pose. This artwork relates to the release of the demon Uja Maligned Ake by careless miners in the deepest recesses of head shoots in the early summer of 112. Finally, I also finish my mining project. Bonus Appendix B, because Kennel didn't say a lot. Tourist Trap, the world's deadliest backpack, with Vox Nihili. Iba posted, Between Nemo's kill count and Holistic Detective's armor, pitting them against each other would pretty much be an unstoppable force against an immovable object. I think those two are our only pre-catastrophe champions. They've been through so much, I'm... Not sure they're capable of dying anymore. 
veritable gods, with both their skin and spirit scarred into impenetrable armor. I decided to check their actual stats using Dwarf Companion. What I found shocked me. Holistic Detective has primary skills Rustler at level 77, Shield User at 65, Axeman at 37, Armor User at 26. Her strength is 21, agility is 18, and toughness is 12. Nemo 2342 has primary skills Swordsman at level 86, Shield User at 71, Wrestler at 31, Armor User at 25. His strength is 20, his agility is 16, and his toughness is 18. You can see these skills are beyond anything anyone has seen before. For reference, level 15 is legendary. Since Holistic has been beating things to death with her backpack for the last couple of years, the current overseer really should zoom into her inventory and designate it to be dumped, her wrestling skill is a ridiculous 77. Though she has a low Axeman skill of 37, a mere legendary plus 22... Meanwhile, Nemo has an absolutely obscene 86 swordsman skill and a very nice obsidian blade, meaning he can probably one-hit kill anything in an unmodded game. You'll notice at the bottom that their strength, agility, and toughness stats are also included. Level 5 is the max displayed in-game. Perfectly agile, ultra-mighty, super dwarvenly tough. Both of our champions have much higher stats than the conventional max. 21 strength means that Holistic is more than four times as strong as your average well-rounded legendary. As for equipment, once you get Holistic to drop her extra fucking backpack, they're about equal. Neither have metal leg gear for who knows what reason, but otherwise, they're suited out as gods.